Good, good evening, folks. Welcome to the, uh, for our National Day of Prayer program here at Ohio County. Uh, I want to thank every one of you that's come out. It's, uh, it's great to see you. Um, I want to introduce your uh, co uh, county and city officials that are here. We have uh, our county clerk, Bess Ralph, is here. Our mayor of Hartford, Charlotte Hendricks. Our city commissioner, Jerry Scoggins. And school board member, Jeff Evans. We're really proud that you're all here. And now it's my honor to introduce to you the PFC Wesley Phelps Memorial Honor Guard of Ohio County. We're going to pledge the American flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. One nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, gentlemen. My name is Matthew Sickling. I serve as the Director of Missions for the Ohio County Baptist Association. Would you bow with me as I pray? Our Heavenly Father, we come before you your throne tonight, knowing that you are a great and a mighty God, whose power and majesty we cannot even begin to comprehend. Your love endures through all generations, and your grace is truly amazing. Father, we humble ourselves before you today because we know that we as a nation have sinned against you. Like the prophet Isaiah, we realize that we live in a land filled with people of unclean lips. Like King Hezekiah, we realize that we as a nation have turned our backs on you just as the nation of Israel did. We know that our forefathers founded this nation on Christian, Christ, Christian principles. Yet in recent years, too many of us have been guilty of doing what is right in our own eyes rather than doing what is right in your eyes. Father, please forgive us of our disobedience and our unfaithfulness. Forgive us of our spiritual adultery and idolatry. Forgive us, Lord, of our apathy and indifference. Father, your word tells us if we will humble ourselves and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways that you will hear our prayers forgive our sins, and heal our land. This is our prayer tonight, Lord Jesus. Forgive our sins, which are many, and heal this great land. May we once again be known as a God-fearing Christian nation instead of the great Satan. We pray this in the name that is above all names, the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.
Hello, my name is Alex Ferris. Now I will be reading the scripture for the government prayer. The scripture reading comes from 1 Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is a good and it is pleasing in the sight of God or a Savior who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Let's pray. Almighty God, we're so thankful for this nation and this form of government that reaches from the White House all the way down to our local levels. And, and Lord, this is a, uh, you allow this government that is of the people and for the people. And Lord, that we govern ourselves. And Lord, we pray that we do that in a way that is pleasing to you. And Lord, may we continually uh, remember that uh, it's all about you, God, and that we need your help uh, in our daily lives and in the daily functioning of all levels of government. And we know that uh, our main blessing is uh, your Son, Jesus Christ, which we offer this prayer in the name of. Amen. Hello, my name is Tristan Hines, and I'll be reading scripture for the prayer for the military. The scripture reading comes from Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 through 9. Only be strong and very courageous, being careful to do according to all the law that Moses my servant command you. Do not turn from it to the right hand or the left, that you may have good success wherever you go. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. Have I not command you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened. Do not be misfade, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out to be with us for this occasion today. My name is Ethan Edens. I'm the preacher out at Church Grove Church of Christ uh, out at Renfro. And, um, you know, I, I wanted to echo the comments that we heard a little bit earlier from uh, Brother Sickling. Uh, we've got a lot of things in this country that are not like they ought to be, and we all know that. We acknowledge that, that, uh, that, that there's some things that aren't as they should be. But when I see a crowd that comes out like this, um, I, I have to think that there's still hope for us. You know, we've got uh, people in this country that know right from wrong, that are committed to doing what's right. Um, if we can ever get some of our national leaders on board with this, uh, I think we may, or may yet see a turnaround. But in the meantime, I'm, I'm heartened to know that there are people here like you guys uh, that, that still uh, want to do what's right and so that, that gives me hope so um, thank you if you'd bow with me please almighty and righteous father in heaven we're so very thankful for the opportunity to live in a country as we do where despite all the things that uh, are contrary to your word at this time we're still able to come together on an occasion like this right here in public on the steps of our courthouse um, in humble submission to your will and to your word, acknowledging you as the giver of every good and perfect gift and knowing that any hope that we have for our future or the future of our children and grandchildren lies with your word. May we conduct ourselves, Father, uh, both today and all days in the future in accordance with the things that you have shown us in your word through your son and in his actions as well as through the prophets that have spoken to us 
that if we'll live according to those principles, our world, our country, our, our state, our, our county, everywhere, it can all be better. Um, and that we put our trust in you and in what you've said to us. We acknowledge that, that many times, Father, we don't understand. Uh, even when we do understand, we, we don't always do what we're supposed to do. We're a weak and imperfect people. We know we are. Uh, we ask, Father, that you would continue to be patient with us, both as individuals, as, uh, as churches, and as a nation. Uh, help us, Father, to see what you need for us to know. Help us to have the right attitudes uh, towards your word and, and especially towards one another. Uh, so many of the problems that we experience in this life, Father, we know are because we are, we're not looking at things right. We ask that you'd help us to have the right perspective. Help us to have the right kind of love, the, the love that your son had for us. Help us to love one another that same way. If we could do that, Father, we know that the world that we live in could be such so much better than it is, uh, so, uh, such a, a better place, um, and that we could be uh, proud of the the things that you have uh, done in this country, uh, rather than always trying to, to fix things and, and to and to go backwards uh, to another time. Uh, help us to have a better future, Father, than we've had a past. Help us to uh, to treat people right to follow that golden rule, to love people, to respect them. Um, and, and Father, we this at this hour, we especially acknowledge that these blessings did not come to us. The blessings of freedom, the blessings of uh, the, just the, the simple things that we take for granted, like meeting here in public to, uh, to celebrate your word and, and, and this, this time of, of uh, praising you together. Uh, without uh, the protection of our military. Father, uh, our military people, as you very well know, daily put themselves in harm's way for us. And Father, it's because of them we know that, um, and because of your blessing of them and your continued protection of us through them, that we continue to enjoy the freedoms that we do. Please, Father, bless them so that we too may live in peace with security in the knowledge that as we lay down our heads at night, there are others out there uh, who are stronger and younger and uh, vigilant uh, in our service to always make us secure as we lay our heads down. Be with all of our young people in our military. Uh, help our, our military leaders to, to know the things that they ought to do and help our civilian leaders who guide that process to have uppermost in mind your will for all of us. Be with us all as we uh, continue through this service to you and help us to do the things according to your will. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, my name is Allison Murray, and I will be reading the scripture for the prayer for the media. The scripture reading comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verses 29 through 32. Let no corrupting talk come out of your mouths, but only such that, well, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasion, that it may give grace to those who hear. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, as God and Christ forgave you. Good evening. My name is Brother Leland Gary. I'm pastor at the New Assembly Church here in Hartford. I'd like to say thank you for giving us the honor of being here today and sharing this, this great program, uh, being a part of a great nation, uh, to my understanding, a great county and a community in which we live in. And we're, thank God today for the opportunity to do this. Today, I'll offer up a prayer for the media. Uh, didn't have a lot to say, but my mind begins to think deep when uh, we think about the media from the evening news to the newspaper, down to the ads that come to us from Walmart and our local stores. We're dependent so much and our lives are so uh, uh, turned by the events that we hear from the radio station to our television. I remember as a child that if Walter Cronkite said it, it was gospel. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm aging myself, aren't I? See some of y'all nodding your heads out there. Most of you are gray doing that, but 
nonetheless, uh, we are, we have a great influence. Uh, you know, I think about the scripture of Ezekiel, when Ezekiel spoke to the prophets and to the ministers of today. And he said, I see you as a watchman on the wall. And he tells us to warn the people of what's coming. And said, if you don't warn them, then our, their blood is on our hands and we're responsible. And we look at the media today and we often think, well, do, are they really that influential? Does it really matter? You look at your own life, just how much today. The events that happened from the tragedy in Boston and on down, you know, we were watching now. We, I remember getting news from across the ways when the war was young. Uh, but then in the last few years... You know, we're, we've been on the front line with these people. We, we actually, through the media, are able to go around the world with the satellites. And we do, they need our prayers. I know that we're quick to uh, pass judgment on them. We're quick to ridicule. We're quick to run them down. But when we really need to be praying for them. So that's what we'll do today. Our blessed Father in heaven, we thank you, O oh God, that we do live in a nation that has freedom of speech. Lord, sometimes it's not what we really want to hear. But nonetheless, you have given us this freedom. May we, the believers, the church of the living God, may we rise to the occasion, Lord, to know that our prayers still changes matters around us. Lord, let us be quick to pray and less likely to uh, run something down or someone down. Lord, for our lives are dependent upon this, our livelihood. Lord, from what that we grow, buy at the grocery store to the news that we hear and what we read in our papers. Lord, the music that we listen to. Lord, the, everything that we do comes to that which it, uh, at, is which given to us, Lord, by this. And we know that it's the gift that you've given us. God, may we be wise in this. So we hold up those that are passing on the happenings of the day, the happenings of the week. Lord, and they remind us of days gone by and remind us and give us hope of a brighter day. We thank you, God. And even though that we as Americans have, have delivered up and given up many of our precious rights and our freedoms, Lord, I pray today that we'll never surrender our right to pray as these that are of the media will not surrender that right to freedom of speech. And God, they can do that. We pray, God, for their wisdom. We pray that they'll do that, which, Lord, would not bring a, a, a serious, Lord, a hurt to someone, but, God, that it would be uplifting, not not only to you, Lord, but to those of our brothers and sisters in Christ. And Lord, those around us, Father, may they continue to bear the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I know today that the world, Lord, cries out. And much of the media is shaped by what people want to hear and what we want to see. And But I pray, God, that the people's heart, the heart of the people, Lord, will turn to you. And Lord, I know your word still says that if my people that are called by my name will humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways and seek my face that I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Oh God, we need a healing and we thank you God today. We know that healing has come. So bless Lord our local media, our national media, the worldwide media because we know they are our lifeline that reaches out there. Bless them and keep them, we pray, as they rightly divide that truth as we divide the truth in the pulpit. May they dare share the truth with us as well. In the name of your son Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.